Good morning, student. Today we study the seventh standard science chapter four. Is the eight? So part two video. So part two. In part one, we study what is heat. What is heat? The hotness. How we measure the hotness? The hotness is measured by any object is called as a temperature. So there is an instrument we are used to measure the temperature is called as a thermometer. Then what we studied in last class? We studied some clinical thermometer. Second one, laboratory thermometers. What are the, how they work? How they look like? Then what are the ranges of clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometers? So you know now. What is thermometer? What are the types of thermometer? So in this class, we study the transfer of heat. Transfer of heat. Student, so you heard the heat is transferred. Have you observed in any way? So observe when heat is transferred. Have you observed? Children, we study how heat is transferred from one place to another. From one position to another. Okay. So here I right, the frying pan. The frying pan flame heat pass to fan. Why? Why? That is a question mark. What is mean frying pan? When you fry some fish, there is a pan. The place in a flame. Gas stove or flame. So what happened? The flame in gas stove. After few minutes, the flame heat is passed through a flame. Right? Have you seen? This is pan. This is a heat. This is a heat. So why heat? After some time, the heat is passes to fan. How? How? Because it is first it is in cold region where we can able to touch. So when it plays in flame. After few minutes, it is very hot. We cannot touch our hand. Why? Because here the heat is transferred from flame to fan. So heat is transferred where? From flame to fan. Flame to fan. Right? Okay. If we remove, if we remove from the flame, so we take out from the flame. What happened? So after few minutes or sometimes, what happens? It cold. It became cold. The, we can touch. We can feel touch, and we can able to hold it, right? So what is the reason behind that? The when any object when placed in a flame or heat, the heat is transferred from higher hotter region to a colder part, colder region. That means the heat pass. From hotter place to colder place, the right? colder region. So heat is moves, right? So when <coughs> when we can take out of from the heat or flame, then uh, there will be cool. Then after some time, there will be cool down. There will be cool down. There is no heat is there because the heat is transferred. Other things. So this is like a cycle structure. So now you now you know how really the heat is transferred in a frying pan, right? Right? Can I explain one more time? The frying pan is when placed in flame. Then the flame is transferred heat from the flame to the frying pan. So this pan became a heat. It's become a Hotness will be produced. When we removed of the flame, what happened? When removed of the flame, there will be a cold because the hotness will be moved out. Then it is always then it became a cool. So this is the how transfer of heat. So I will take you another example. So this is one in metal scale, or you have used in metal scale, right? We I place this metal scale in a small box. This holding small box, and we have poured some wax. This is wax, and poured full whole scale or whole metal strip in this wax. Then in this this side, I place flame. What is this? This is flame candy. What happened here? The hotness will be produced, right? When we place. 
scale is placed in metal, this metal or in any iron scale, what happened? This will, this region became a hot. Hot. What now? Then I full poured in wax on this scale. Right. The heat will passes through this side. The heat will passes through this side. Well, have you observed that? Have you observed? So because I poured wax in this scale, when heat is when flame is placed, the wax is start to melt. The start to melt and drop it down. So from this we can identify the heat is transfer from one position to another position. So here right I write it. Heat is transferred from pan to surroundings. In first case, right? So what happened first? The flame, flame producing heat to pan. The pan become very hot. When removed out the pan, the after some time it became cold. Why? The hotness of the pan is moved out to surroundings. It is moved out to surroundings, right? So this is heat transfer in pan. So what happened? The heat flows from hotter region to colder region. We call such processes a conduction. What is this? Conduction. So definitely this is a solid, right? Is iron. The pan is a solid. In solid, in solid, the heat, where we flame, the flame produces heat. The heat flows from the hotter region to a colder region. It moves from hotter region to a colder region. Such process is called as a conduction. What we call? This is called as a conduction. Okay. So, now we are able to heat is transfer. So, where heat is transfer metal in easily. What that? Heat is transfer in metals is easily. So, I will give you activity. You do in your home. Take a glass of hot water. So, this is in, okay, huh, this is a glass, this is a glass of hot water, okay, then put it in a, heat in a scale, it's a metal scale, some pan, pencil and iron rod, iron rod, some steel scale, pan, pencils, some plastic instrument and iron rod. So put it on in hot water. After some times, what happened? What do you observe in that? So the metal slides scale, which are steel, then iron pieces, they become a hot. They will when it touch they will be hot. That means the heat in the beaker of water, in glass of water, this transfer from water to a this iron rods for scale. What about in pen and pencil? These are metals? Not, right? These are plastics. This is made up of a plastic. In that, there is a no heat is transferring takes place. So, this explains the heat transfer of metal is easily. What is this? Heat is transferring metal very easily. So, what is this? The material, the material next, the material which allow heat to pass through easily, such metal is called as a conductor. What do you mean? Have you understood? Any material which allow passing heat through it. If I take some, oh, okay, this is what. So when I place in the flame, what happens? If one side is placed in it, then whole watch is becoming hot. Why? Because this is a any metal. So it is a material which allows to pass a heat through whole system. So such metal material we call as a conductor. This is very important what is conductor and what is conduction. So conductor means any material which pass the heat through it. Then conduction means the heat flows from hotter region to a colder region of a material. Such process is called as a Conduction. Right? Okay, you have any doubt? You have any doubt about it? No. So, next, if the material which do not allow to pass through it is called as a insulator. 
meter. The material do not allow heat to pass through it. So I told right this in this activity there will be hot water in a glass. I put some scale, this steel or iron scale, some pen pencil I help. What happened? The pen and pencil does not transfer heat. Yes? So such materials which do not allow, do not pass the heat from one place to another place, such material, such material we call as a insulator. So can you able to give example? What are the examples? The examples like what is this? So plastic, some plastic, some glass, etc. So these are the materials which do not allow to pass the heat. Next, when we heat a water, when we heat any water, so here this is an activity. Take a round glass for it is have you seen? We will do in your classroom. So I take some round glass and put it some water. What happened? And start to heat and place in a heat. So due to the presence of flame, the water start to heat. Water start to heat. What happened? When heat is produced, the water start to rise up. The colder region, the side of the flask, flask contain colder waters. The colder the waters are from the side of is a lower term. So when water is heat, this heated water is moved up. This heated water is moved up. The cold side part contain colder water. These are moved down. So this continue, the process will be continue till whole water is heated. So the whole water is heated till this process continue. When the whole water get heated, some water is heated up and side of water is moved down. Then they again, they again heated up. Then side water is moved up. The process is continued till the whole water, the whole water which are present in this flask is heated. The such process is called as a convection. So what we call such process is called as a convection. That means the heat is transferring a liquid to gas. The heat transferring liquid to gas is called as a convection. Okay. So we studied in this class how transfer is takes place. Transfer of heat. In a frying pan, though we know is convert the definition of conductions. Next, we studied what are the conductors, what are the insulators, then what is a convection. So these are very important. Next to study in case of a coastal area. Coastal area means have you known what's coastal area? Coastal area means seaside. Seaside. Right. <coughs> like us. We are living in this a Puttu region. We have a near coastal area. Which one? So man They contain Arabian Sea. So what happened this did place? In daytime, the land is heated faster than the sea. So this is sea. This is land. This is land. Okay. So imagine this land. So there will be a picture in your textbook. So what happened? The land is heated faster than sea. When land is heated, what happened? The land is heated, right? What happened? The land contains a warm air. They have a warm air. So sea contains a cool air. Cool air. Right? Why? Because land heated faster than the sea. So what happened? The cooler air in sea, they move towards the land. The cooler air which are present in sea. Why? Because their hotness is very low in the daytime. So the cooler air in the sea, they move towards the land. Then similarly, the warm air which are in which are present in land is moved towards the sea. Why is moved towards the sea in daytime? The land become very hot, right? They are warm. So what happened? The warm air which are present in land, they move towards the sea. So it is a one a continuous cycle, right? So colder, cold air which are present in sea, they 
move towards land and the land is very warm in daytime due to sun so the land get heated the land contain warm air the warm air is the warm air is move towards which side sea side so there is a one cycle process this cycle is called as a sea breeze what we call sea breeze why we call it sea breeze because the cold air is move from the sea to land right so land gives cold sea gives cold air to land so such we call as sea breeze so in the daytime so in night at night what happened the opposite reaction opposite one what is this the water cool slow than land so in the night there is no sun the no heat is there so water cools slow than the sun than the land so than the land the water cools slow than the land so the cool air which are present in land right in day the sea gives cool air to land so at night the land have a cool air because it easily cools than the sea so land have a cool air the land have cool air is moved towards to land such process is called as a land breeze what we call it's a land breeze at night water cools very slow then land so land gives a cool air to a sea at night so such cycle so land gives a cool air then morning the sun the warm air in the sea it gives to a land so that that there is a one cycle process will takes place the such process we call as a land breeze what we call we call as a land breeze so we know that the what is now sea breeze and land breeze next the transfer of heat without medium is a called as a radiation so radiation what is mean radiation what do you mean here the sun what the sun do what the power of sun they give light to us this is us i our surroundings so they they give sunlight to our sun so there is no medium between sun and earth this only direct light radiation is passed the light of sun is passed that means there is a heat the heat is passed from this is very hot sun is very hot to the cold of the earth so heat is passed from direct without any medium such process is called as a radiation 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 means any la any heat is transferred direct way without any medium without any medium such we call as a radiation so i give sun i i told right so sun is give the heat to sun earth directly next the heat which is reflected the heat is reflected comma absorbed and comma transmitted that means heat we know study now heat is transfer one place to another place and heat is absorbed so object which absorb the heat and heat is transmitted it is reflected it reflected from one place to another one position to another so heat is transferred is takes place in the heat the absorption is takes place in the heat there is a transmission also takes place you know that next so stride the kind of clothes we wear what type of clothes we wear in a summer when heat is there so the light color clothes we wear always wear light color clothes in a summer days which is summer days why why we wear always the light will cool clothes in summer days so because the dark surface clothes is absorb the heat and move towards it dark surface dark surface absorb so i will give you example if we have any dark clothes like black then blue etc so these are dark colors which absorb the heat directly 
So when we move out to outwards from the home, so if we wear black dress, we feel very hotness that time. Why? During summer, there is a hot heat will be there, hotness will be there. If you wear any dark, if you wear any dark clothes, the dark clothes easily absorb the heat from heat from clothes. The dark, dark surface cloth, dark colored cloth, it easily absorbs the heat. But light colored cloth, it does not allow to absorb the heat. So in the light color, we, we use light colored dresses in the summer. So there is activity. If we take it two glasses of water, if one glass we, if we put a black color of paint and one glass we put some white color or any other colors, light color. So place it in for outwards, for sun, sunlight. After few hours, you have observed the water level is absorbed down and then we touch the black hot colored water is a very hot than the white color. Why? Because black is a very dark color, it absorbs the heat. It absorbs the heat from the sun. So they produce the heat, so it feels this is a very hot than the light color. So we use light color in the summer and dark, dark color clothes in the winter season. Why winter season? That time there is no heat is there. Next is the woolen clothes. Have you seen woolen clothes? We study that woolen clothes is how we prepare woolen clothes, woolen fabric, fiber. So woolen clothes is made from the any animal like sheep, goat, yak, etc. So there is some process will be there. We use woolen cloth as a sweater, some gloves, some woolen cuffs, etc. So when we use woolen cloth, yeah, we use woolen cloth in a winter season. Why? Because the woolen is a very thick and it is a poor conductor. These are poor conductor. Poor conductor means is an insulator which do not get absorb the any heat from the light or the from the surroundings. Why? Because these the woolen cloth, this type of woolen cloth, they trap the air, they trap the air to move towards the dress, move towards the cloth. So this is a trap. They do not allow to pass the heat. Then if they can trap, run through this trap. So the air prevent flow of heat. So they when there is a trap in this trap, the air does not, the hot air does not allow to the cold. Sorry, in winter season, right? In winter the coldness does not allow to move towards move through this woolen So we use in woolen clothes in a winter season. Why? Because these are poor conductor. Poor conductor means they do not allow the heat passes through it. Do not allow to pass the heat through it. And there is a trapping. They trap the movement of the air. They trap the movement of the air. So we use woolen clothes in a winter season. Why? Because we should maintain our body temperature, right? If body temperature down, if we we have it below 37 degrees is a normal temperature. So what happened in temperatures down? We felt the coldness and have to start shivering. So we need some hot blanket or some shelter etc. Why? They give the warmness to us. Though they do not allow to pass the heat through outwards. Okay? So we use some woolen clothes or blanket to this season. So in this class, we studied about how transfer of heat takes place, then what is conductors, then what is conduction, then how in coastal area transfer of heat is takes place, then what type of kind of clothes we use in summer and winter, then what is the, why we use woolen clothes in winter. So we studied in this chapter what is heat, types of thermometer, temperature and Conductor, insulator, convections, then what is radiations, etc. So, I end up this class. 
Next class, we study next topic and next chapter.